Slightly short kick coming down to Bo Carroll at the 7. Right up the hash marks and down at the 25-yard line. Second and 10. Gators from their own 25. On the draw, it's Gillespie. Powering his way for nine yards out to the 34-yard line. Kirk Wells, the tight end, shifted in closer to the line. And the run is stopped. Salim Rashid. And the Alabama coaches say will be regarded as one of the all-time greats in Bama history when he leaves. Alan Ryan with a short nose-up spiral. It took a bad bounce for Florida. Then it's down to the 41-yard line, just a 26-yard punt. Daryl Jackson back for the punt from Patrick Morgan, the senior from Birmingham, averaging 42 yards per punt. That's returnable for Jackson from the 25. And he went shaking and baking out to the 34-yard line. With Doug Johnson, the hand signals to the wide out to the left. The fullback is Rod Frazier was offset. The pass to Robert Gillespie. Fumble! Recovered by Marcus Spencer. And he's down to the 38-yard line. Alabama's turned it over ten times in the last two weeks, six times in the win last week against Arkansas. Alexander with some nice moves. And again to the 32-yard line. Two tight ends in the game. Sean Draper and Terry Jones Jr. Zhao after the fake has to throw. Caught for a first down at the 25-yard line by Freddie Millens. They're going to make him read the coverage and be patient and throw the football into the right spots. He did that time, but it was just short of the first down. 37-yard field goal try from Chris Kemp is good. The junior Florida native from Jacksonville gives Alabama the first points of the game. Bo Carroll in a tailback. He and Gillespie considered interchangeable parts by Coach Spurrier. Gillespie just fumbled, so Carroll's in there. Johnson going deep for Darrell Jackson. He's going to go all the way for a Florida touchdown. 73 yards. Third down and five. Zhao throws for a first down. Antonio Carter with his first career touchdown reception last week in the win against Arkansas. Many of the schools that recruited him weren't recruiting the play quarterback. He throws a throwback screen. Terry Jones Jr., the tight end, lost the football after he hit the ground. But he's also about a half yard short of the first down. Better effort this time from Morgan. Jackson's knee went down. They tackled him anyway, but they were going to rule him down at the 19, rather at the 14-yard line. Doug Johnson back on the field, leading this Gator attack. After throwing a 73-yard touchdown pass on the last play from the scrimmage for Florida to give them the 7-3 lead. Going deep again for Jackson. He was being held, and a flag is thrown. Holding by the defense. Because the pass crossed the line and the holding was against an eligible receiver, that's an automatic first down. Florida without their usual starting tight end, Aaron Kinney for the second straight week as he's been bothered by a neck stinger. Johnson the quick pass to Darrell Jackson, first down. Finally he's driven back at the 42 yard line. Already just about matched his numbers from a year ago. He's going to shatter all those numbers. Robert Gillespie back in. First down into Bama territory and down at the 40-yard line. Rob Roberts, the only back, lined up behind Johnson. They have Bo Carroll split out to the left. Johnson lost the snap. And Alabama has recovered at the 42-yard line. Four wide receivers on first down for Alabama at its own 41. Zao with lots of time against the four-man rush. Alexander with lots of running room. At the 30 of Florida. And all the way to the 20-yard line. They go to the four wide receiver set. Actually, five receivers spread across the field for Andrew Zao. He throws. Caught. Freddie Millens taken down at the one-yard line by Marquand Manuel. The crowd certainly anything but quiet on fourth down. Deep handoff. Touchdown. 
Sean Alexander on the fourth try from the one yard line. Makes the gamble. Rashe Caldwell takes the quick throw from Doug Johnson. And Caldwell is out to the 28th, where he's tackled by Marvin Constant. Now he's got a wide open receiver to his booty after he gets away from pressure. Will Witherspoon knocks it away. Georgia wins by one. Wow. And Bo Carroll carried while you were looking at that highlight. Carroll picked up the first down with his carry out to the 30. And they give it to Carroll again. Good cut inside. He can fly. Touchdown saving tackle by Tony Dixon at the 32-yard line of Alabama. Four wide receivers. Out of the shotgun. Another bobble snap by Johnson. A quick throw to Caldwell. He has running room. He's also very fast, and he's close to a first down. Appears to have it at the 21-yard line. Johnson on second and ten. Fires a bullet well short of the first down to Alex Willis, the junior, former walk-on, who earned a scholarship this season. Johnson's gotten a lot better just about every facet of the game, particularly in the decision-making this year. After the summer spent on campus, he throws that one away and a flag down for an intentional grounding call as the heat was being brought on by Cornelius Griffin. And it'll be a long try, 41 yards for Chandler, who's perfect on the year in field goals until now. Never really did get it airborne. Low line drive, wide to the right. So far, 15 times he's lined up over the freshman Ellington, 12 times over Chris Samuel, so they are flopping him back and forth. Down at the play stands. Antonio Carter tackled by Daryl Dixon. That's one true freshman tackling another at the 40-yard line, but there were flags thrown at each end of the line of scrimmage. All sides on the defense. Penalty refused. First down. Alexander has running room outside. Gets a block from McClinton. And Alexander was tackled at the 46. The gain of six. Sean Bohannon in a tailback. They go from Sean A to Sean B, and Sean B appears to have the first down. He got just across the 50, and that's what he needed. Three wide receivers. Out to the right, two to the left. Zow's throw, caught. Antonio Carter quickly becoming a big playmaker for Alabama. They spread the field, and Zow goes out of the shotgun. Just a four-man rush. And the throw on target. Alexander lost his helmet, but held on to the ball for a first down. Again out of the gun. They spread the field with receivers. Zow, high throw, but a good catch. And McCadley has a first down. Jason down to the 26-yard line. Tackled by Marquand Manuel. Again at its own 25. Zow across the middle. Juggled, but caught for another first down by Antonio Carter. Mike DeBose said, I hired Charlie to open up the offense. He didn't really do that the first couple of weeks. He was trying too hard to make everybody happy. Alexander's making him happy as he powers toward another first down inside the five-yard line. Chris Kemp from an awkward angle, a 22-yard field goal is good. What a drive by Alabama. The only negative was that it did not end at a touchdown. Yeah. It yields a field goal and a six-point Crimson Tide lead. What a drive by Alabama. 18 plays, nearly nine minutes long, but just the field goal. Gillespie across midfield, down at the 47-yard line, and the half ends. They wanted to get a timeout, get another playoff, a heave for the end zone, but time expired after the 19-yard run by Gillespie. Very impressive first half by Alabama. They go the spread formation on first and ten from their own 20-yard line. Andrews out. But Brown picked up well again. Finds Sam Collins, the true freshman, with his first catch of the day and third of his career. Third down, a short one. The fullback, McClintock, has the first down out to the 33. Upended by Andre Davis. Dustin McClintock, the junior from Quinlan, Texas. They will take three and a half minutes off the clock on that possession. Darrell Jackson caught it at the 30. And returned it 
to the 34, 36-yard punt and a four-yard return. Marvin Richard back to handle the punt from Allen Ryan, former infielder on the Gator baseball team. And the punt handled with a fair catch by Richard. On the gun on second and five. South pass intercepted. Benny Alexander's going to score on the first crucial mistake by Alabama. On first and ten, they go to the ground for Alexander, trying to break free. And he has the first down. Not a bad idea after some difficulty to go to your best player. Well, LSU rushed for 291 yards. Zao with a four-man rush. Running out of time. Did a little dance and got sacked by Thaddeus Bullard. The first sack of the day for the Gators. Only first sack of the season for Florida. First today. Zao on third down and long now. They need to get just across midfield. They do. What a throw by Zao to Antonio Carter for the first down. Zao 18 out of 26. Pump fake. Avoids the rush. Throws deep for Alexander. Wide open. Touchdown, Alabama. Interesting decision for Coach DuBose. He's going to go for two here to get a seven-point lead. But a touchdown and an extra point could only tie him. Of course, if you don't get it, two field goals could beat you. And the throw is low, incomplete. It bounced into Jason McCadley. They have had a little bit of trouble running the football up inside against Alabama. There's one score by the Florida offense. The other on an interception return. There's the tight end, Aaron Kenny. Wasn't played much the last couple of weeks with a neck injury in there now. Ball spotted at the 39, first and 10. Johnson throws, nice catch along the far sideline by Alex Willis. O'Carroll running behind the left side of the line into the secondary in the Bama territory with a first down at the 37-yard line where Darius Gilbert made the stop. He does indeed. After that stroke, Cole was raised by a variety of relatives. Then he was 15, as Michelle said, on the street for a while before some coaches and teachers took over legal guardianship. Here's Kurt Wells, the backup tight end with just his second catch of the season. First and 27 now. The ball back at the 36-yard line. Man open, Willis down the sideline. Close to the first down at the nine-yard line. First and goal from just inside the nine. Johnson to the end zone. Touchdown, Darrell Jackson. Three catches, 93 yards, two touchdowns for Jackson. Now the try for two and a three-point lead. Wells the tight end. Lost the ball, but he was in first. That's a two-point conversion for Florida. Five receivers spread the field on third and eight. Corner blitz. Zao. Throws. Caught. <laughs> what a catch by Millens. He slipped down. It appeared just before the ball arrived, and he was actually sitting. They pitch to Alexander. Another conversion on third down for the Tide as Alexander advanced the ball to the 44-yard line. First and 10, Alabama. Zao after the fake had to get rid of it quickly. Antonio Carter, good move. He's across midfield with another first down. Four-man rush. Zao with time, has a man wide open, Millens first down, inside the 15-yard line, Marquand Manuel made the tackle, Sean Bohannon in the game and he split out, Alexander's gone to the sideline, Zao and again just a four-man rush, throws to the end zone, caught, touchdown, Antonio Carter puts Bama back up. Bo Carroll to back behind Doug Johnson. Johnson throw to Jackson, caught for a first down. To the 40-yard line, Tony Dixon made the stop. Under 12 minutes remaining. 
Johnson with all day to throw. Throws a strike, caught for another first down in Alabama territory at the 45-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Johnson throwing up his back foot. Another catch made by Alex Willis. First down, Gators at the 22. Right in the middle of the field, Jeff Chandler with his first miss of the season earlier today. And that one's good from 37 yards out. It's a one-point lead for Alabama with 9.42 left. Out of the gun. Millens, first down, big gainer out to the 42-yard line where Eugene McCaslin made the tackle. Third and six, they're 11 for 17 on third down, four out of eight from this distance. The pitch, flag down. Terry Jones Jr., the tight end with the first down of it stands, but there was a flag thrown in the middle of the line of scrimmage. They shouldn't make calls to decide the game unless it's blatantly obvious. That might be one that went in his favor. Remember, Millens used to be the quarterback. He wants to throw this one away. The Florida sideline complaining that that was two forward passes, and they get the flag very late. Intentional grounding on the offense. Lost it down at this spot. Fourth down. The clock down to one. A problem along the line of scrimmage, and the Gators are going to take over at the 25-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Mike Dubose undoubtedly still fuming about that holding call that certainly changed the complexion of the last couple of minutes. Robert Gillespie inside the 20. Lunges for the first down marker, and he's close. Second down and nine. Johnson with lots of time to the end zone. Jackson with his third touchdown of the game and a terrific catch on a ball thrown behind him and Florida leads again. Johnson throws in traffic, flag down, it's caught by Brian Hogabrook. Now they ruled an incomplete pass but it is perhaps pass interference on Alabama. Now they pitch it to Bo Carroll, virtually untouched. He gets the two points, and the lead is seven for the Gators with 5.15 left. With the spread set, four-man rush. Bullard couldn't pull him down. He's in trouble from behind. He throws, caught by Millens to the 47-yard line. Patrick Morgan, undoubtedly Florida will be alert to a possible fake with this field position and the situation of the game. Darrell Jackson back for the punt. Morgan will punt it away. High but short. Jackson muffed it. It's free at the 22-yard line. The Alabama players think they have it. No signal from the officials. Now it is. Alabama's ball at the 22-yard line. Zao pitches to Alexander. Trying to break a tackle. Robert Cromarty late tackled him. After a gain to the 17, which he didn't have a moment ago. They snap it with three. It's an inside handoff. Alexander knocked down, and this will be a crucial spot. It looks like they're going to spot him down short. If I'm Alabama and Charlie Stubbs, I think give the ball to 37 and run behind number 60. They give it to Alexander. First down, and he goes in for the touchdown! Third and four. Gators at their own 27. Just a three-man rush. Inside handoff. A good call. They get the first down with Gillespie. Out to the 37. Gators from their own 37. 48 seconds left. Three-man rush again. Pass caught. Rashad Caldwell getting closer to the field goal range at the 45-yard line of Alabama. An 18-yard gain. Second and 15. This time they bring pressure, it's a blitz, and Johnson's down in the arms of Chris Horn. And time expires, the fans boo, had they been quicker to get over the ball, Florida could have tried a Hail Mary play of some type or another, hope for a completion or at least a penalty. 
But Doug Johnson was looking for the sidelines, and all honesty, it didn't look like Steve Spurrier was really yeah. certain whether they should try another play or just settle for the result being decided in overtime. First possession for either team in overtime. Johnson throws to Jackson. He has the first down. Pulled down by Kelp Bailey. Just inside the 12-yard line. John Capel, the motion man. Gillespie up the middle. Down to the five-yard line. Second and short upcoming there. Kenny Smith pulled him down. Alabama would love to hold to a field goal try. Third down and four. Out of the gun. Johnson with a lot of time to the end zone. Touchdown, Rache Caldwell. The safety can't get there in time. Tony Dixon, a bad angle to the football. And a good throw by Johnson. And the extra point is missed. Jeff Chandler, so solid. Since taking over last year as the starting kicker, missed it wide to the right. Now Alabama begins its first try of the overtime on offense. Alexander running behind the fullback, McClintock, he may go! Touchdown! For Alexander, he goes over 100 yards again with that carry, 106. And now they can win it with a Chris Kemp extra point. He's the backup kicker, Ryan Flugner, injured two weeks ago. But Kemp's been very steady the last couple of games. His kick is no good! Florida was offside, Sean. They're going to get a chance to kick it again. It was offsides on Florida. Kemp just pushed it wide right. Wow. He'll have a chance. And just a little bit closer. Patrick Morgan is the holder. How narrow do those pipes look right now? That kick is good! And Alabama wins! <laughs> active home winning streak in college football is over. Florida's home winning streak ended at 30 in a row. Sean Alexander stymied so often today, but as you said, Todd, when they needed a big play from him, he made them over and over again. And so much of life is about second chances. Chris Kemp got one and took advantage of it. Many would say Mike Dubose got one. Perhaps he's taking advantage of it. He's with Michelle.